What's up guys? We in it once more. And uh, this time I actually have a battle that I did, which is neat. I think that it's important to, uh, you know, step outside the uh, third person role because you can say a lot of, you know, you can say all that good shit outside of that. Um, but sometimes you just have to play it out because otherwise, I don't know, I, I, it's... I don't love playing as much as I did in the past, but if I didn't at all, I wouldn't be here right now, so it's nice to get out there, and uh, it's just a pretty decent game I had. Uh, however, of course, in this setting, rather than the, the active spectating role, I now have a bunch of difficulties kind of enunciating what I'm looking to put out so uh hopefully you can bear with me for the time being as i try to you know sort my process but uh for now just bear with it i'm gonna get better but i'd like to present to you what was my week three upl game against uh joey poke game so I am on the Safari Zone Smashers, I believe is the name of it. And Joey's team is the Route 30 Youngsters. I am I think that's right. I looked at it like five minutes ago, but I really don't pay much attention to the names because that's not a big deal, really. Um, but yeah, this is my week three game rather than anything else because in the past two weeks, I unfortunately had to... Uh, miss my stuff because of personal uh issues i'm, I'm not gonna get into details with it it was not fun but we are back and uh <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ugh. maybe edit it out who knows probably not uh, uh week three and my prep for this was kind of interesting but essentially what i was looking to build around here was specs tornadus which is an interesting pokemon for sure i feel for the most part overshadowed by the life orb set largely on the basis of a decreasing the necessity to connect with hurricanes to you know pick up the kills you want to get and b he has tornadus has just a plethora of useful uh, utility options. It's at its disposal. Pardon. Uh, taunt, rain dance, tailwind, etc. That help you know reinforce its utility in a variety of matches. However, uh, something that I consider unique to Specs in particular is of course the damage output, which allows it to help push through things of a looser nature as checks such as Zapdos, which he has been. Uh, running quite often, Joey, uh, as well as the traditional offensive Lax has a very weak handle on Specs in particular. So I decided to go for that, and uh, looking at his, his team, it pans out in some capacity. Of course, he has uh, the loose check sort of situation in Rhyperior plus Snorlax, a pretty common uh pairing in this tier however i uh built in a way that sort of evens out uh i think it's still a pretty even matchup all things considered there's uh he definitely has the tools to win i have the tools to win so on that basis it is a pretty even game out of the gate and uh just to give some insight into my team the main thing that i was worried about with building round torn is uh actually electrics and i was trying to uh this team unfortunately i kind of went a little loose on the electric checks normally i'd like to have like ground plus secondary strong electric switching such as such that i can both deter volt switch and uh effectively counter non-volt switching ones this one i kind of allowed myself to concede volt switches because i haven't been seeing much of that from him i was seeing like you know Zapdos, which don't conventionally run it. I hate uh, Volt Switch on Zapdos, honestly. It's just, I don't think it's good at all. Uh, though, I guess other people don't share that opinion. And I could have gotten punished that, but I didn't. And uh, his Raikou have been mostly 
see him from what I've seen from him. I really didn't do a ton of scouting, but I did enough, I'd like to think. So, you know. Ugh. So, uh, what I have on my team is freaking Dark Gym Dredagon, which I was using. It has some neat utility as a pursuit user over other mons, uh, specifically helping to deal with Victini, which this team obviously doesn't handle super well. It doesn't concede a ton of free turns to it, but it's something that I always have to be you know, aware of while it's still in the tier. Maybe it'll get banned. We're seeing, but who knows? Uh, Scarf Mian Shao, which I don't use a lot, but it's exceedingly common. Uh, standard OTR Cofagrigus. Normal Gem Explosion Bronzong, because this team is loosely based in its uh, offense. It's, you know, a little, I guess, bulky offense, but it skews much more on a uh, offensive playstyle than anything. And to that end, I have zero for a Kingdra, so I can't afford to be having something like a Bronzong sitting there and becoming dead weight for it. I needed uh, the normal gym explosion to add some kind of activity to its role as a pivot, stealth rock, etc., etc. And freaking Calm Mind 3 attacks Raikou with a Psychic Gem, Extra Sentry, which I thought was an interesting tech. It kind of mitigates the issues presented uh against things like flygon when utilizing hp grass because you're able to pick it off from a higher amount of hp and of course it helps to punch through a nido king queen from a little bit of damage and in this case potentially a roserade uh and i was actually debating between that and hp or rather <laughs> signal beam with bug gem and ended up with extra sensory at the last minute and fortunately it found an application rather than signal beam which it would have done not a gosh darn thing Though, uh, for reference, Signal Beam punches through Shaman way better. It uh, can apply more pressure to an Umbreon as well, which I was also low-key concerned about because uh, one of my buddies, Chulio, is on that team, and he's a big fan of certain stalls like that, and I figured that having that Signal Beam to punch through a Umbreon might be nice. He also loves Cresselia, which I could have also potentially had a little bit extra potency versus but none of that happened so uh looking at the matchup i was expecting pretty standard stuff from everything i was anticipating pursuing snorlax though i wasn't sure whether it would be banded or leftovers the commonplace thing is leftovers nowadays with uh protect in the final slot that was a job of the griffin tech he pulled out in like the last spl that bwu was allowed um, Standard Rhyperior, Scarf Mianxiao, OTR, Kofag, uh, probably some kind of spiking Rose Raid. I don't expect an offensive set at this point because he kind of needs the uh, staying power of a bulkier set on a team like this that's just so kind of loosely offensive. It needs uh, something stronger to stay on Skulls. And the Suicune's kind of up in the air. A lot of people, um, the defensive set has grown out of favor with a lot of people and especially on a team like this without any kind of heal bell any kind of umbreon to back it i was anticipating something a little more aggressive maybe a uh, offensive calm mind maybe a freaking vink coon but i wasn't entirely sure off that i kind of had to uh, play by ear as i went but basically my game plan going into this game was to try to punch holes with my tornadus in the early game in such a way that the combination of Raikou and Kofagrigus can end game because looking at his uh, responses he's got his loose defensive core however tornadus plus Raikou in particular have the tools to really push through that and if I can keep the offensive pressure high in that game I can pretty easily overcome that and Ha and having the Kofagrigus there to deter his common revenge killer Mianxiao from going for anything super uh, ballsy, I had a lot of uh, leeway in making some aggressive plays, which I'm going to try to uh, force in this matchup. So uh, I'm going to try to do this as best I can, but starting out the game, I decided to leave with my Dredagon because... Essentially, it has very limited uh, 
value in this game, unfortunately. Actually, something that happened. Uh, so there is a glitch on PS right now, which disallows the combination of Sucker Punch and Pursuit. It's actually a breedable thing via, I believe it was Arbok to Dugtray or Dugtray to Arbok, something like that. Uh, however, PS doesn't allow that right now, which is a serious problem, especially with... Uh, you know these games going on that's a valuable thing there there is going to be a bwru competition soon and that'll mess with it so i they need to get that fixed and i i brought it up but uh they still haven't fixed it by the time that i did this and i still wanted dreadagon to be doing this i already had the team fleshed out in such a way that i really was already kind of seceded to what i was doing so to that end I, I just ended up going with Crunch over Sucker Punch because, you know, it's the same base power. It's pretty much doing the same thing for me. And uh, that means that it can't even loose check his Cofagrigus with the uh, Dark Gem Sucker Punch. So basically it has so little value that I figured just throwing it out early game and pushing my agenda would be just fine and dandy. So what I go for here as anticipating the U-turn is a Toxic because it catches pretty much everything that would be looking to switch in on anything that I go for. And he brings out Rhyperior, which I'm absolutely happy to, uh, you know, force a trade here. So I just keep crushing for damage in order to remove what is his only flying resist and that he is willing to take. So, which is fair because honestly, he doesn't have active switch ins and that it furthered my idea that his Suicune does not have very much defensive capability. I just uh, throw out my Dark Gym Crunch just because I know we're just going to double down at this point. As he trades for his Rhyperior. And at this point, I was so certain that he was going to go out to Mianxiao. But I had to uh, just go ahead and try for my Tornadus. Because it had good matchup versus everything else. And the cost of me leading badly versus a few of his other members was too heavy to risk now again i'm going to uh, make something of an aggressive play not too much so honestly but again playing off the fact that kofagrius is in the back i can pretty much assure myself that he's not going to i should probably skip back pretty much assure myself that he's not going to be going for anything super aggressive versus it yet because max hp kofagrius just sits on the scarf show I decided to pivot into my own Mian Xiao to try to get uh, to try to get advantage that way, and I just scrolled down. Whoopsie daisies, still still getting the hang of this. Um, but I go for Mian Xiao on the Stone Edge. Fair enough. I get to uh, now U-turn out, get advantage my own as he does go for his Cofagras, and that prompts me to bring in this Tornadus, and Hurricane would get a kill, however I miss, which is a problem, uh, but fortunately I have gotten every single Pursuit versus Return mind game with Snorlax right every time, forever, so I go for Hurricane predicting that, and uh, he does show the Protect, which after seeing Leftovers and the damage I dealt, I did anticipate it, and this is still something that rolls in my favor, but unfortunately I get a pretty freaking low roll here, so... That's a bummer, but that's fine because at this point I can just go to my own Raikou. He can't risk me potentially calm mining on a protect. He can't try to, you know, get his Snorlax healthy. So I just throw a T-Bolt trying to limit his information, potentially bluff a Scarf or Choice Set rather. I, scarf is not that common, but uh, based off that, now I can go for Calm Mind here and I get to throw the gym boosted extra sentry and pop off his freaking Roserade, and I am, bleh. even normal speed, it's a little too fast for me, but basically, he does set up Toxic Spikes, which does hamper me a bit, and I think that even more so pushes me towards the idea that his Suicune is going to be Vinkcoon, which is, uh, for those unenlightened, it's the uh, Calm Mind Substitute Protect Scald set. And if that is in fact the case, that's going to be a problem because it has a lot of leeway against uh, my Cofagrigus, and I don't really have a designated great win route at this point, but I do absolutely need to keep my Raikou healthy because he is now lacking four switch-ins, 
So I decided to switch out, go into my own Mian Xiao because it is by and far the most expendable member of my team. It is uh, speed tying with his, it is getting set up on by Kofagrius, and if my theory is correct, he can just protect on my high jump kicks and scout me out. So I really have no value for it anymore, so I decided to toss it. And here I make something of an aggressive play trying to... Uh, push my advantage here. I go to Bronzong rather than Kofagoras thinking that he is that Calm Mind Kuhn set and he will be able to win out in a 1v1 situation pretty handily. So I go into my Bronzong and rather than throwing out the uh, Gyro Ball I click Toxic and what my goal is here is to either remove his Kofagrius by uh, pushing the toxic damage to a point where he will die to a preceding T-Bolt from my Raikou, or of course Toxicus Weaken, but I didn't figure he would go for that, instead he does go for the Kofagrius, and I get that situation going just fine, get up my Stealth Rock because there's really no other point, as you can see my Gyro Ball is doing like 6%, and I do pop him off with the Thunderbolt, and at this point... Ugh. He has to bring in his me and shout, obviously. And oh, whoops. All right, well, didn't do it at the right time. However, I understood that he could not risk going for high jump kick here at this stage in the game, just as it would be uh, severely in my favor to. Well, all right. He can't go for U-turn because if I do stay in, I just T-bolt, his Suicune is down or down to the point where it can't get back to win versus my Kofagrius, and then it's just me and Shao on Kofagrius. I 2 it KO with Shadow Ball and I take the game. He also is in a very difficult place to risk the high jump kick because I'm hard pressed to switch out in this situation because I need Raikou to beat the Suicune. So I have to make, I go for the aggressive play here and he takes the middle ground, which is absolutely fair in the stone edge. And unfortunately he misses. Now uh, I'm in a position where with uh, my EV spread, because I have a decent amount of defense investment not a ton, but enough to uh, help with Umbreon foul plays, I will uh, mention it later. But I would have a decent shot at living the Stone Edge plus one extra turn of Toxic afterwards, assuming this uh, Suicune does have Protect. So I ultimately took what were my best odds in that game, and I got away with... Uh, not having to risk that roll because he does miss and uh, that's pretty much going to seal it unfortunately because uh, he does go for the Calm Mind here trying to salvage and uh, afterwards reveals the Protect. So I can't entirely say for certain whether or not this is Vincun or simply uh, Calm Mind 2 attacks which is also a valid set so he can, can run pretty much everything. and. Uh, with that, I actually, unfortunately do take it. So, uh, you know, there is a matter of false equivalence. I'm not going to say like miss for miss, it's fair, but uh, the presence of my Torn might have potentially shifted the end game in such a way that I could have been able to win anyway had I hit those two hurricanes. Tough to say, really, and obviously, you know. It is shitty to say that. I think that he played his game very well and he understood his win condition just as I understood mine. So that's kind of just the game that we play at this point. And, um, you know, that's all I can really say about it. I, uh, you know, I wish Joey the best in his continued games. Hopefully, next thing we do, we have a slightly cleaner one. Hopefully, next time we don't have to rely on, you know, shitty accuracy moves. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it because, uh, I like to try with these. I, I'm not that great at it. I feel like I messed up a few times, and uh, hopefully you can notice all the editing mistakes as I, or rather the editing pauses as I decided I didn't like a take that I was going for and had to redo it midway and edit it out or whatever, something gross. It's going to turn out to some kind of Frankenstein-ass narration, but...
I had fun with it, and I had fun with this game, and uh, I hope Joey did too, because, you know, he's a good guy. Sub to his YouTube. Clearly, all 50 of my subscribers aren't already subbed to him. Maybe there's someone. I don't know. But, uh, you know. Ugh. I'll try to come back with uh, some more narrations. Maybe of my own stuff. Maybe of other people's stuff. We'll see as they happen. But uh, for now, I'll catch you guys on the flippity flip.